And now for the Monero development segment. Hey guys, welcome to the dev report. We are starting with plugging a Can you hear pool it? for Tari. Yes. Okay. Tari I can't has it, no it, pool mining okay. yet. As far as I know, you playing. can only uh, solo mine or merge mine with Monero. And Luis is building a a pool with a random X uh, based miner uh, written in Rust. Yes, and um, I think he's very early in state, but uh, he says he's learning a lot. And yes, um, what a nice project. Let's keep an eye on it. The next thing is a CCS proposal from Luke Parker, aka Kabaya Nerve. And uh, he just posted it seven hours ago. He's asking for 3000 XMR for full chain membership proofs plus spend authorization plus linkability CCS. So I already looked through the milestones and I'm honest with you guys, I'm not really understanding much of the things. I think this here is very interesting. Uh, we're, we're coming to GBPs uh, in a moment. But he's also writing here. This CCS is to develop, prove, review and audit full chain membership proofs which is a trustless solution based on general generalized bulletproofs. Uh, this is uh, the BPS. Into Monero under Ring City, replacing the existing CL SAG. This is distinct from prior intents to integrate full chain membership proofs into Monero with Seraphis and was prior discussed in a Monero Research Lab meeting with well reception. The same meeting organized the funding of security proofs or genera generalized bulletproofs, which has been funded in under uh, 24 hours. A critical component of full chain membership proofs. This builds upon the work prior done on full chain membership proofs and does the most of the groundwork for full chain membership proofs and Seraphis as well. So I really uh, like to see that we have a lot of move movement um, in development for Monero again. Um, we are going to a phase where um, full chain membership proofs and Seraphis uh, are going to start um, the implementation soon, I guess. I, I, I mean, I can't say anything about the timeline, but yeah, it's uh, it's going from talking about it to working on it. Okay, so we even have a, another new awesome Monero guided list. <laughs> I think it's uh, the third one. And yeah, this one. Oh, guys, I think. Is this a fork of mine? It looks very much like mine. Which I which I have uh, released a few weeks ago. Maybe it's a fork and not um, not marked as a fork. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so the next thing I saw here on X is Shadow Strike, a Monero to Bitcoin Lightning payment service. Load up your Toe browser and try it out. Go as low as you want. Top limit of 0.25 XMR for zero conf transactions. So I opened up um, the website on the Tor network and I haven't tried it, 
but you can pay any Bitcoin Lightning invoice with Monero up to that limit. And yeah, we should keep an eye on it and try it out someday. So Feather Wallet had the release 2.6.5. Um, just want to mention that they updated to Monero point 0 0.18.3.3 <clears throat> and they fixed some bugs. Yep. The net next thing is really cool. My friend Alex is hosting a Monero meetup in Offenbach uh, on the 18th of April this year and this will mark the 10th birthday of Monero and he's hosting this on in a office and they have some screens and we have uh, several Monero art and it's raining Monero coins from the sky and this is made by uh, a program Alex has programmed he um, he has made up a repo it's called the Monero Anniversary Mini Phaser Game and it makes uh, rain the coins from the sky when a Monero transaction is received. So I guess there will be something like a QR code on, on the screen and when you scan it and send some XMR you can make it rain. So you support the... Um, you support the organization of these events which is really nice. Check out Monero. Uh, I hope to see you guys. So there, I will be there as well. So the next thing is the Haveno 1.0 release, and I haven't seen any um, announcement from Haveno, but I saw this release on GitHub. And yes, with a 1.0 usually you are going mainnet and you're going production i'm not sure if this is the case here the release notes don't um, show that um, haveno has a switch to mainnet but it's a big release um, rather than less <coughs> I'm really excited for uh, re excited for Haveno because it has fiat trading pairs with um, Monero, and we just saw that Kraken um, will delist Monero in Belgium and uh, Ireland, I guess, Belgium and Ireland. These are two countries in the e, uh, EU and I guess we're going to see a delist of Monero on Kraken for all EU countries. So Havino is the most important project for me uh, related to Monero. Next we are seeing a new release of Lib Monero, which is a Rust library for Monero. This is interesting for developers and I think there are two or even three different Rust libraries for Monero. But yeah, check them out. The next thing is Monero subscriptions wallet from Look Profits, and this is really interesting. So normal Monero wallets or cryptocurrency wallets, they lack a feature of fiat banking, which is really common, and this is uh, subscription payments or payments that occur in a um, time frame like every two weeks or once a month and with cryptocurrency 
uh, cryptocurrencies if you are using uh, custodial uh, non-custodial wallets uh, you always have to do a transaction by yourself and you cannot automate the process so this is uh, multiple things first he, um, he has made a uh, payment request standard a, a own protocol um, which um, which encodes um, multiple information into a string um, not sure where it is here like it looks like this it it's um, it starts it starts with Monero request column and then multiple other um, parameters that are encoded in here and his software can decode this so um, let's say you're a merchant and then you generate this uh, request and then you send this to your uh, customer and then the customer can use this subscription wallet which are some files that you that uh, you are have to copy into your um, wallet folder with the other files from Monero CLI and then um, you can run a launcher for Windows or Mac or Linux and then you can have those payments I can show you some screenshots it looks like this then you can confirm or cancel the request and yeah I don't know how it works I know some part has to be online I'm not sure if it's on the part of the merchant or of the customer I have to look more into detail into this project so the next uh, project is Neveco or Neveco which has released a new beta uh, as a reminder this is going to be a decentralized and enormous uh, on a market like a invisible economy um, this is what this stands for and it's built on i2p I, I already covered this and um, let's see what the new release gives us so it's Linux only and it has a release server on the i2p net which is interesting I'm not sure what it means but um, yeah darknet markets in the dark web always have the problem that that um, either they are, they are exit scamming or they are they are getting busted by the police but um, something like this is untraceable and not confiscatable so I wanted to share you th um, the current distribution of uh, Monero mining and the pools and it doesn't look very good guys we are seeing two pools who are consuming 70% of the total hash rate if those two pools um, would um, censor some blocks together they could achieve that um, Monero will mine empty blocks and no transactions would get into those blocks <coughs> it's, it's uh, not as bad as in Bitcoin or other transparent blockchains where you cannot um, where you can distinguish um, transactions and the sender and the receiver and then censor specific transactions this is not uh, really possible with Monero but yeah people should really use p 2 pool which has only 7% of the total hash rate p 2 pool is a decentralized pool and everybody should um, host an own instance of it and use it as as uh, their miner which is even more profitable than any other 
centralized pool which is uh, which has fees p2 pool is without fees and if you want to use p2 pool in a very easy way you could always use gupex but i found something new which is a fork of gupex with a, which is named gupex with 2x and they forked it and integrated the xmr versus beast raffle so I know what it is uh, from a time ago, but I forgot about it. This is a bonus hash rate raffle. And I don't know who is running this. I don't know why this is running, but I guess maybe it's like a incentive to use uh, P2Pool instead of other pools. And if you participate here, you can even earn more Monero because some other generous um, miner will jump on uh, on your address and mine for you for some time and then you can um, you can gain some monero and the hash rates here they are really really high over seven or eight mega hashes per second so it will give you a big bonus and you can donate yourself or you can um, participate you just have to put in your um, xmr address with uh, which is also used on your p2 pool instance and now it's easier than ever with uh, gupex with 2x they have integrated the raffle into the gui so now you don't have to set up anything you just open this you're, you're going to sync p to pool start mining and participate in the raffle and you can even earn more monero yeah that's it for this week i thank you all for listening and have a nice day and come to our Monero meetup in Offenburg uh, in Offenbach on the 18th of April.